Okay, so once again, good morning everyone. So our topic for today is a process description and control. So in this topic, no, we will be able to cover uh, discussions related to the process control structure. Of course, uh, the several transitions uh, that we're considering for uh, the suspended processing. And of course, uh, we're going to discuss the process description, process control, execution of the operating system, security issues, and Unix SP4 process management. Okay, again, the concept of a process is fundamental to the structure of modern computer operating system. Its evolution in analyzing problems of synchronizations, deadlock, and scheduling in operating system has been a major intellectual contribution of computer science. Okay, so to give us more details about uh, our topic for today, let us all welcome our presenter. Take it away, Ms. Beautiful. So, good morning, classmates. This is my report all about process description and control. OS management of application execution. Resources are made available to multiple applicants. Application. The process is switched among multiple applications, so all, all we appear to be progressing. The process and input and output devices can be used efficiently. Process elements. Two essential elements of a process are program code, which, which may be shared with other process that are executing the, prog the same program. A set of data associated with that code. When the processor being to execute the program code, we refer to we refer to this executing entity as a process. While the program is ex executing, this process can be uniquely characterized by number of elements, including identifier, state, priority program counter, memory pointer, context data, input and output status information, accounting information. Process control block contains the process element. It is possible to interrupt a running process and later resume execution as if the interruption had not occurred created and managed by the operating system. Key tool that allow, allow support for multiple processes. Trace the behavior, uh, process state. Trace the behavior of an individual process by listing the sequence of instructions that execute for that process. The behavior of the processor can be characterized by showing how the traces of the various processes are interviewed. Dispatcher. Small program that switch, switches the, pro, the processor from one process to another. Three major requirements that an OS must meet refer, reference to process. The OS must interleave the execution of, an, of a number of, 
processes to maximize processor use while providing reasonable response time. The OS must allocate the resources to processes in performance with a specific policy while at the same time avoid deadlock or starvation. The OS may be required to support inter-process communication and user creation of process, processes, both of which may aid in the structuring of applications. Components of a process. A process usually consists of an ex executable program, the associated data needed by the program, variables, work, space, buffers, and etc. The execution context of the program. Sample. Contents of registers including program counter, priority, the, the proceeds, proceeds being blocked for input and output. Places of processes. Combined place of processes. Two state process model. Viewing diagram. Process creation. Process swapping. Owning. When the OS creates a process, a dexterity request of another process. Parent process. The original creating process. Child process. The new process. Reason for process creation. New batch job. The OS is provided with a batch job control screen. Usually on tape or disk. When the OS is prepared to take on new work, it will read the next sequence of job control command. Inter interactive log. A user at a terminal log on the system created by OS to provide a service. The OS can create a process to perform a function on behalf of a user program without user having to wait. Example, a process to control printing. How a very existing process. For purposes of modularity or to exploit Parallelism, a user program can dictate the creation of a number of processes. Process termination. There must be, be a means for a process to indicate its completion. A batch job should include a HALT instruction or an explicit OS service call for termination. For an interactive application, the action of the user will indicate when the process is complete. Reason for process termination. Normal completion. The process executes as, as OS service calls to indicate that it has complete running. Time limit exceeds. The process has run longer than specified total time limit. There are a number of possibilities for the type of timing that is wished. This includes total elapsed time, wall clock time, amount of time spent Computing and in the case of the interactive process, the amount of time since the user last provided any input.
memory unavailable. The process requires more memory than the system can provide. Bank violation. The process tries to access a memory location that is that it is not allowed to access. Protection error. The process attempts to use a resource such as a file that is not allowed to use or it tries to use it, it in a proper fashion such as writing or read a write on the file. Arithmetic error. The process tries to prohibit prohibited computation such as division by zero or crisis or number larger than the hardware can accommodate. Time over. The process has waited longer than the specified maximum for a certain event to occur. Input output failure. An error occurs during input or output such as inability to find a file. Failure to read or write after specified maximum number of tries when, for example, a detective area in encountered on a tape or invalid operation such as reading from the line printed. Invalid instruction. The process attempt to ex execute a non-existent non instruction often a result of branching into a data area and attempting to execute the data. Privileged in instruction. The process attempts to use an instruction reserve for the operating system. Data misuse. A piece of data is of the wrong type or is not initialized. Operator or OS intervention. For some reason, the operator or the operating system has terminated the process. Sample, if the deadlock exists. Parent termination. When a, par when a parent terminates, the operating system may automatically <laughs> terminate all the oper all of this of string of that parent. Parent request. A parent process typically has the authority to terminate of its of its string. Five state process model. Process state for three. Process state. New state. New login, new batch data. The OS assigns a process ID, updates the process table. The process waits to go to the ready state. Ready state. Each process must be presented in some way so that the OS can keep track of it, including current state and location in memory. If the dispatching of process is dictated by a priority scheme, then it is convenient to have a number of ready queues, one for each priority level. Running state has CPU. Black state waiting for something to happen, such as input and output completion. Exit state, termination of process. Using two queues and multiple black queues. One suspended state, two suspended state. <coughs> Characteristic of a suspended process. The process is not immediately available for execution. The process may or may not be waiting on an event. The process may not be removed from this state 
until the agent explicitly orders the removal. Reasons for process suspension. Swapping. The OS needs to release sufficient main, main memory to bring in a process that is ready to execute. What other OS reasons? The OS must suspend a background or utility process or a process that is suspected of causing a problem. Interactive user request. A user may wish to suspend execution of a program for purposes of debugging or in connection with the use of a resource. Timing. A process may be executed periodically, example, an accounting or a system monitoring process may be suspended while waiting for the next time interval. Parent process request. A parent process may wish to suspend execution of the pendant to examine or modify the suspended process or to coordinate the activity of various defendants. Process and resources and OS control table. Memory table. Used to keep track of both main, real, and secondary virtual memory. Process are maintained on secondary memory using some sort of virtual memory or simple swapping mechanism. Input output tables. Used by the OS to manage the input output devices and channels of the computer system. At any given time, an input output device may be available or assigned to particular process. File table. Information may be maintained and used by a file management system. In which case, the OS has little or no knowledge of files. In other operating systems, much of the detailed file management is managed by the OS itself. Process table. Must be maintained to manage process. There must be some reference to memory, input, output, and files directly or indirectly. The tables themselves must be accessible by the OS and therefore are subject to memory management. Process control structure. To manage and control a process, the OS must know where the process ID located and the attributes of the process that are necessary for its management. Process control structure is needed to keep track of process location and process attributes. Process image, user program, a program or set of programs to be executed. User data, data location for local and global variables and user defined constant. System attack, a, a, a stack to keep track of procedure calls and parameters passing between procedures. Process and control, block. Needed by the OS to control the process. Always keep in main memory. Process identification. Each process is assigned a unique numeric identifier. Many of the table control the OS controlled by the OS may use process identifiers to cross references process table. When process communicate with one another, the process identifier informs the OS of the destination of a particular communication. 
Francis State Information consists of the contents of Professor Register, User Visible Register, Control and Status Register. Program Status Word con contains the condition code plus the other status information. X86 F E plug register process control information. The additional information needed by the OS to control and coordinate the various active processes forms the third part of the PDC along with process ID and process processor state information. Typical elements of a process control block. Process control information. Scheduling and state information. This is information that, that is needed by the operating system to perform its scheduling function. Typical items of information. Process state. Define the risk readiness of the process to be scheduled for executing execution sample running ready waiting waiting priority one or more fields may be used to describe the scheduling priority of the process in some systems several values are required example default current highest Highest allowable. Scheduling related information. This will depend on the scheduling algorithm. Examples are the amount of time that the process has been waiting and the, and the amount of time that process executed the last time in what it was running. Event. Identity of event, the process is awaiting before it can be resumed. Data structure. A process may be linked to other process in a queue, ring, or some other structure. For example, all processes in a waiting state for a particular priority level may be linked in a queue. Process may exhibit a parent child creator or created relationship with other process. The process control block may contain pointers to other processes to support this structure. Interprocess communication. Various plugs, signals, and messages may be associated with communication between two independent processes. Some or all this information may be maintained in the process control block. Process privilege. Processes are granted privilege in items of the memory that may be accessed and the type of instruction that may be executed. In addition, privilege may apply to the use of system utilities and services. Memory management. This section may include pointer segment or page table that describe the virtual memory assigned to this project. Resource ownership and utilization. Resources controlled by the process may be indicated such as open file. A history of utilization of the processor or the other resources may also be included. This information be needed by the schedule. Structure of process. Image and virtual memory. Process list structure. Rules of the process control block. The most important data is structure in an OS. It contains all the information about the process that, you, that as needed by the OS. 
blocks are read or modified by virtual every module in the OS. Difficulty is not access, but protection. A bug, a bug in a single routine called damage process control block, which could destroy the system ability to manage the affected process. Modes of execution. <clears throat> User mode. Less privileged mode. User programs typically execute in this mode. System mode. Privileged mode. Privileged mode. Also referred to as control mode or kernel mode. Kernel mode of the operating system. Typical functions of an operating system kernel. Process management. Process creation and termination. Process schedule and dispatching. Process switching. Process synchronization and support for inter-process communication. Management of process control blocks. Memory management. Allocation of address space to processes. Swapping. Page and segment management. Input-output management. Buffer management. Allocation of input-output channels and devices to processes. Support functions. Interrupt handling, counting, Monitoring. <clears throat> Process creation. Once the OS did decide to create a new process, it assigns a unique process identified identify to the new process. Allocate space for the process. Initialize the process control block. Set the appropriate link page. Create, ex create or expand other data structures. Process or context switching. A process switch may occur any time that the OS has gained control from, from the currently running process. Possible events giving OS control are Mechanism, mechanism, mechanism. <laughs> Interrupt, interrupt, trap, survive, survive, cause, cause, cause of interrupt. External to, to the execution of the current instruction. Associated with the execution of the current instruction. Explicit request. Use for interrupt. Reaction for asynchronous external event. Handling of an error or an exception addition. Call to an operating system function. System interrupt. Interrupt. Due to some sort of event that is external to and independent of the currently running process. Clock interrupt, input output, interrupt memory fault. Time is life. The maximum amount of time that a process can execute before being interrupt. Trap. An error exception condition generated within the currently running process. OS determines if the condition is fatal. Move to, move to the exit state and a process switch occurs. Action will depend on the mature of the error. Mode switching. A mode switch is distinct, distinct from a process switch. A mode switch can take place 
place without changing the state of the computing process. Change of process state. The steps in a full process which are save the context of the pro processor. Update the process control block of the process currently in the running state. Move the process control block of this process to appropriate you. Select another process for execution. Update the process control block of the process selected. Update memory management data structures and restore the context of the processor to that which exists, exists at the time the selected process was last switched out. Execution of the operating system. Execution within user processes. Security issues. An OS associates a set of privilege with each process. Typically, a process that executes on behalf of user has the privilege that the OS recognizes for the user. Highest level of privilege is referred to as administrator, supervisor, or root cases, access. A key security issue in the design of any OS is the prevent or at least detect attempt by a user or malware from gaining an authorized privilege on the system and from gaining root access. System access threats. Intruders. Often referred to as a hacker or cracker. Attempt to acquire information that should have been protected. Malicious software. Most sophisticated or crypto computer systems can be re relatively harmless or very damaging. Countermeasures, instruction detection, a security service that monitors and analyzes system events for the purpose of finding and providing real time or near real time warning of attempts to access system resources in an, in an unauthorized manner. Maybe honest or network based. Countermeasures. Access control. Implement a security policy that specifies who or what may have access to each specific system resources and the type of access that is permit, permit in each instance. Mediate between a user and system resources. A security administrator maintains an authorization database. An audit function monitors and sees a record of users. User access to system resources. Countermeasures firewall. A dedicated computer that interface with computers outside a network. Has special security precaution into it to protect sensitive files on computers within the network. Design goals of a firewall. All traffic must pass through the firewall. Only authorized traffic will be allowed to pass. Unix SVR4 uses the model where most of the OS executes within the environment of a user process. 
two process categories, system process and user process. System process executes operating system code to perform administra administrative and housekeeping function independent of any specific user process. User process operate in user mode to execute user programs and utilities. Unix process state, user running, executing in user mode. Kernel running, executing internal mode. Ready to run in memory. Ready to run as soon as the kernel schedule is. Asleep in memory. Unable execute until an event occurs. Process is in main memory. Ready to run swap. A process is ready to run, but the swapper must swap the process into main memory before the kernel can schedule it to execute. Sleeping swap. The process is waiting, awaiting an event and has been swapped to secondary storage. Printed. Process is returning from kernel to user mode, but the kernel prints print it and does a process which to schedule another process. Created. Process is newly created and not yet ready to run. Zombie. Process no longer exists, but it leaves a record for its parent process to collect. Unix process state, state transition diagram. U a Unix process. User level. Process text. Executable machine instruction of the program. Process data. Data accessible by the program of this process. User attack. Contains the arguments, local variables, and pointers for function executing in user mode. Shared memory. Memory shared with, with other processes used for inter-course communication. Register context, program counter, address of next instruction to be executed may be in kernel or user memory space of this process. Processor status register contains the hardware status at the time of preemption. Content and format are hardware dependent. Stack pointer. Points to the top of the corner or user stack, depending on the mode of operation at the time of function. General pur purpose register, hardware dependent. System level context, process table and state. Define state of a process if information is as always accessible to the operating system. Process ability. User area. Process control information that needs to be accessed on in the context of the process. Per process region table. Defines the mapping from virtual to physical addresses also contains a permission field that indicates the type or access allow the process. Read only, read write, or read execute. Kernel stack contains the stack frame or kernel procedures as the process ex executes in kernel mode. Unix process table entry. Process status, current state of process, pointers, the U area and process memory 
area text data stack process type enables the operating system to know how much space to allocate the process user identifier the real user id identifies the user who is responsible for the running process the effective user ID may be used by a process to gain temporary privilege associated with a particular program. While that program is being executed as part of the process, the process operates with the effective user ID. Process identifier. ID of the process, ID of parent process, these are set up when the process enters the created state during the fork system. Event descriptor. Valid when a process is a sleeping state. When the event occurs, the process is transferred to a ready-to-run state. Priority. User process used for process scheduling. Signal. Enumerate signal sent to a process but not yet handled. Timer. Include process execution time. Kernel resources, resource utilization and user set time. Timer used to send alarm signals a process. Key link. Pointer to the next link in the ready queue. Valid or process is ready to execute. Memory status indicates whether the process image is in main memory or swap out. If it is in memory, this field also indicates whether it may be swapped out or temporarily locked into main memory. Wait lang po, sir. Hey, did it not Yes, yes, you may proceed to slide fifty nine. Process table pointer indicate entry that corresponds the, to the U area user identifier, real and effective user ID used to determine user privilege timer. Record the time that process and its descendants stand executing in user mode and in kernel mode. Signal handler array. For each type of signals defined in the system indicates the process will react to receive of the signal. Exceed ignored execute specified user function. Control terminal. Indicate log in terminal for the for this process. If one exceeds error field, record error encountered during a system call. Return value contains the result of system call. Input output parameter describe the amount of data to transfer the address of the set of the source data array in user space and file offsets for input output. 
file parameters, current directory, and current root describe the file system environment of the process. User file descriptor table. Record the file the process has opened. Limit field. Restrict the size of the process and the size of the file it can write. <clears throat> Permission mode field must mode setting on files the process creates. Process creation. This causes the OS in kernel mode to allocate a lot, allocate a slot in the process for new process. Assign a unique process ID to the child process process. Make a copy of the process image of the parents with the reflect that an additional process now also owns the file. Assign the child process to the ready Wait now. Assign the child to the process to the pro, assign the child process to the ready to run a seed. Returns the ID pro, number of the child to the parent process. And a, and a O value, zero value to the child process. After creation. After creating the process, the kernel can do one of the allowed following as part of the dispatcher request. Transfer control to the child process and transfer control to another process. Don lang po. Stay your presentation. Okay, so I think uh, the most important things that we need to understand with the uh, process uh, description and control we, we need to accept the fact that we are already finished with the finite, finite states with your uh, automata theory no language and at the same time some discrete structures discussion not related to this topic so it is perhaps to uh, visualize uh, the, this method process creation because both parent and child are executing the same passage of a code. So the difference is this, when the, ter when the return from the fork occurs, the return parameter is tested. So if the value is zero, then it is the child process and in, in a branch can be executed to the appropriate user program to continue execution if the value is non zero. Then this is the parent process and the mainline execution can continue. Now, <clears throat> To summarize the discussion of your classmates, so which is a uh, very and uh, comprehensive, no comprehensive uh, presentation. No? So the most fundamental concept in the modern OS is the process. No? So the principal functions of the OS is to create, manage, and terminate processes. So while processes are active, the OS must see that each is allocated time for execution by the processor. So coordinate their activities manage conflicting demands and allocate system resources to processes. So to perform its process management functions, the OS maintains a description of each process. So or process image, which include the address space within which the process execute and a process control block. So the latter contains of all the information that is required by the operating system to manage the process, including its current state, resources allocated to it, priority, and other relevant data. During its lifetime, a process moves among a number of states. So the most important of this area, ready, running, and block. A ready running is one that is not currently executing, but that is ready to be executed as soon as the OS dispatches it. So the running process is that process that is currently being executed by the processor. So in multi-programming or on multi on multiple processor, so as what, what, what we discussed during the uh, introduction of the multi-processor uh, system, more than one process can be in this state. 
So a block process is waiting for the completion of some event such as the input-output operations. So a running process is interrupted either by an interrupt, which is an event that occurs outside the process and that is recognized by the processor. Okay? Or by executing a supervisor call to the operating system. So in either case, the processor perform a mode switch transferring control to an operating system routine. So the OS or the operating system after it has completed necessary work may resume the interrupted process or switch to some other processes. And I think that's it for this topic.